Hi, this is Carl Polachuk from SMB Books and Small Biz Thoughts. If you're one of the people who thinks that you're being killed by the fact that Microsoft is canceling SBS and you're going to move people to the cloud, we're going to take just a minute and show you one of the coolest things you can do, which is very easy to move your clients off of their small business server with Exchange and into hosted Exchange mailboxes. Here's to your success. Last time we talked about putting in a spam filter. So email comes to and from your network through a spam filter. So everything on your Exchange server only goes out through that spam filter. So it'll be easy for us to take that Exchange server and move the mail somewhere else, knowing that we won't lose anything because it'll always go to that spam filter and then get directed to whatever the new location is. We have to do this one step at a time. Let me show you what that is. Here we've got a hosted exchange provider. So you need to set up an account with them so you're a reseller. And then, first thing you do, obviously, is you create an account for your client. So now you've got an account for that domain and you create users within it. Obviously, one for each of the users in your client's exchange database. So now you've got a place for the mail to go. So next, you go to your Exchange server, and let's say you've got SPS 2003, so you're going to be able to use XMerge to spit out PSTs of all of the Exchange mailboxes. Don't worry about the fact that right now, there's going to be some stuff you miss. We're going to basically populate as much as we can in the new system. So all you have to do right now is go and spit out those PSTs using XMerge. Then, because you've already created the users over in the hosted exchange mailbox, you can now import them into their uh, mailboxes on the new system. So now you've got a system here that looks just like the old system, except there's a little bit missing. It's stagnant. It ended, let's say, last Thursday. And so now you have to go and get the rest of that mail. The next step is that you go to the spam filter and you say, I don't want my email to go into the old Exchange server anymore. I want it to go now to the hosted Exchange server. So now incoming email is going to go to this mailbox. So now what's in the hosted Exchange mailboxes is all the email, all the data until last Thursday and everything starting from today. So what's missing is just this little notch of stuff that went into the old Exchange server before you made the cutover. Now you can sit down at each client's desktop and what you do is you sit down at their desktop, you spit out a tiny little PST that only has the data from Thursday until today and you make sure that you mark it so it can't have duplicates. And then you reconfigure their desktop to point to the new hosted Exchange server and then you import that tiny little bit of PST into their existing mailbox. Now they've got all the mail before Thursday, all the mail from Thursday till today, and all the mail from today forward. And all new mail is going to come in through there. You also tell the spam filter that it can accept outgoing mail from the hosted exchange server. And the last thing you do, when all of the mail has been moved, and all of the clients are now only sitting on the new hosted exchange server, you change the spam filter so it won't accept mail from the old address. That's actually the least important piece of this, but just in terms of cleaning up at the end. So now, in a very quick step, you've moved all of your clients to the hosted exchange mailboxes with zero downtime for anybody. Nothing was lost, dropped, or forgotten. That's the way to do it.